quite a few years ago when Brian and I were kids and we were out pulling weeds by hand in soybean fields, one of our favorite products that our dad ever used was Metribuzin because it meant we were going to have less weeds we were going to have to pull in the field. Now the big thing for our dad was he wanted to use as much Metribuzin as he could safely use out in the field because we really needed help with weed control. We just didn't have many options other than Brian and me pulling the weeds. So we're going to talk today about how do you figure out what that right rate of Metribuzin is for your farm. The challenge here is you have varying soil across your field. So you might have areas where you can use a tremendously high rate of metribuzin and other areas in the same field where you can't. What we're talking about here more than anything is soil type and soil pH. So with soil type, if you have a sandy soil, then you're going to have more activity out of that metribuzin. You can also leach the metribuzin out so it's not going to last as long if you have a lot of rainfall. The other factor is soil pH. The higher the soil pH, the more active metribuzin is. Now it's the same thing with atrazine, for example, that's in the same chemical family as metribuzin. The higher the pH, the more active it is and the more persistent it is in soil. So our cutoff is usually about 7.4 pH. We're pretty comfortable with normal rates of metribuzin until you get above 7.4. Now the good news is if you do have some high soil pH, you can actually cut the rate back and get the same effectiveness as I might have to in my lower pH soil at a higher rate. So I, I guess I'm just trying to say there are advantages and disadvantages to having that high soil pH. Now with the sandy soil type, here's something where you're going to have to watch things. Let's just say your CEC is 2. If you've got a CEC of 2 or really less than 5, I'd say you probably don't want to use the Metribuzin out there. I'd be really cautious. If you're going to try some, I'd use a really low rate, like maybe a twelfth of a pound. Start there. If you see that it's safe to the crop, then you can increase your rate a little bit accordingly. Now one thing that you'll see with Metribuzin, it has soil uptake. It also has burn down activity, but that's kind of a different thing. But in terms of the soil uptake in soybean plants, what happens if you have too much Metribuzin is it will drop the cotyledons off and it may even drop the unifoliates off. And if you start seeing uh, plants that are dropping off cotyledons, dropping off unifoliates early season in your soybean fields, you know you got too much Metribuzin. What he's trying to say here is it works its way up the plant. So atrazine and metribuzin, these products go in the xylem of the plant that only flows upward and you're going to see the bottom leaves of the plant dropping off. So if that happens, yes, you know you pushed it too far in rate. Speaking of rate, the full rate in soybeans is really two-thirds of a pound. That's what we used to use years ago on our farm. Well today we kind of talk about one-third of a pound being the standard rate just to be extra safe, extra cautious because we know there are a lot of high pH spots around the country. But like I was saying earlier, if you get above 7.4 right away, I'm going to slash that rate in half. I'm probably going to a sixth of a pound, maybe even an eighth of a pound. So you got to be a little bit careful on what you're doing and it can vary from field to field. One other thing, Brian, we get the question a lot. All right, I'm using your three pre strategy. I'm using a PPO, I'm using one of the yellows. Do I still need to run a strong rate of Metribuzin? And if I'm pointing Metribuzin in, do I still need to run a strong rate of the yellow or the PPO? Well, it all depends on your situation and how much weed control you want to get. But yes, I'm still going to use, if I've got pH below 7.4 and I'm not in sand, I'm still going to use a third of a pound of Metribuzin either way, whether I was using it with those other products or not. In terms of, do I want a full rate of a yellow? Here again, if you want better weed control, yeah, I'm probably going to use a full rate of a yellow. That's really up to you and you can just play around with those rates a little bit on your farm and see what works best in your situation. Metribuzin is an excellent herbicide. We really like having it in our three pre strategy for soybeans and you should consider it on your farm. Well, one weed that you may be targeting with your weed control program is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 